been going on since Saturday morning, although uh -huh. I heard there were some early people who showed up Friday evening and uh, held it down. What is the main purpose of this movement and this uh, protest here? Uh, I'd say the main purpose is education. Uh, the main idea is, is, as my understanding is, you know, once again, this is my opinion. Yeah. My understanding is that the idea is to, to create an education or a place for people to get together and, uh, and really discuss some of the issues that really plague society to this day and discuss some positive and alternative ways that we can address those issues. So it's become mm -hmm. a, its own community within the city and uh, not only a community but a tight-knit community. It's very well organized. You have many different tents and committees and is there someone central organizer? There is no central organizer. Uh, at the GA it was put forward that we should have a media committee. Um, uh -huh. I believe some people were early in on the media committee uh, before the actual protest began. Mm -hmm. There was a website that was up and a couple groups that were asking for people to volunteer their time uh, for specific committees if they had expertise. Okay. Uh, some of the original members, I believe, were from that pre-existing committee, but now it's more, uh, you know, developing. As people come in, they have ideas, they have skill sets, they have specialties, and they bring their resources here and offer them up for us Great. to use. I'd like to say, let's stop using the word protest and let's call it a movement. A movement, yeah. Because it's less of a protest in the, in the, in the traditional sense, you know? A okay. protest is something that's become almost termed as, oh, useless in yes. today's society, at least okay. Canadian society. Right. And be, the difference between uh, protest and a movement is the fact that it's ongoing. And if anything, it's evolving. Mm -hmm. It's not just a one day, hey, come out for this day and support this uh, specific cause. It's, hey, do you feel there are some problems in this society? Come forward and make your voice heard and let's discuss it. Are there any demographic trends like younger people or older people or different ethnic groups? Or From the very beginning I would say it's been a wide variety of people. I saw young, old, from all different ethnic backgrounds, uh, from all over and with the varying degrees of uh, the ability to understand English even. You know, People okay. were coming here not understanding what was going on and other people who managed to speak that language were educating them or at least talking with them and helping them understand. I wouldn't try and put a label on the reason for it being here, I would just say it's you know a bunch of reasons culminating in the mm -hmm. feeling of inequality. The enemy, or if they call it that, is the corporation. Is that so? The I, case, or you wouldn't well, even say that? No. I, well, I personally, you know, I, I'm a business owner. I run my own business, yeah. uh, and I'm not an advocate of you know getting rid of businesses in general. I mm -hmm. think businesses are fantastic. They're places for you know jobs to grow. Corporations, you know, I also feel have you know in the past and to this day have had some bad light and deserve that bad light for some of the practices that they have used. Yes. Uh, and I think one of the main reasons for those practices is because of their main driving force, which is to make money. Yeah. Uh, and that above everything else. Uh, mm -hmm. They, you know, there's there's a lot of things behind corporations that could be improved. You know, mm -hmm. I'd love for corporations, since they're such big thing, big entities, mm -hmm. to be able to enact, you know, some sort of social equity involved program you know, whereas the money isn't no longer the primary goal but the community around that corporation and the people and the workers of that corporation are the main goal for you know helping that community helping those workers and helping the general well-being of the entire planet mm -hmm. if, if corporations had that sort of equity built into it that's just once again my opinion not the opinion of the movement the main reason for this protest is mostly in solidarity for the United States we have a fantastic fantastic system in here in Canada and a lot of laws that protect, you know, protect the general public. Uh, but at the same time, I don't say our, I, I don't think our system is perfect. In mm -hmm. fact, far from it, I think there's a lot of things that could be improved. And that's why I'm out here in solidarity with the United States, but also because I believe that I want to discuss and hear some ideas on alternatives that we can provide and use to help our system recover from this current you know, economic crisis and the current system that we've managed to get ourselves into. All right, thanks very much for your time. Thanks a lot. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Bye.